What? This is almost double our monthly expense. you're not supposed to be eating in the office? Yes, sir. So you're aware and you decided to break the rules, right? Sorry, sir. It's not going to happen again. Sorry for yourself. It won't happen again, sir. See, see. Let this be the last time I catch you eating in the office. Because the next time, you'll be fired. Do I make myself clear? Yes, sir. I just do. Come to my office. So as you can see, all the transactions are well documented and that's the list of the taxes we need to pay. Um, uh, don't you think this amount is too much for tax? Well, it seems so, but it's our obligation to pay. We, we have to pay the taxes, otherwise we'll be penalised. Uh, okay, okay, that's fine, uh, because I won't, uh, want the Thing that happened with the last accountant to repeat itself, where we did not pay the tax, and then it nearly dragged my company's name to the mud. Yes, that's right. Um, uh, what about this other expense? Um, the the two new employees. Oh, almost forgot. <laughs> okay. Mm -hmm. Would there be anything else? No, I don't think so. All right, sir. Uh, you can go back to your office. Thank you very much, sir. I just knew you were home. Mm. Oh man, I am just enjoying two things right now. What is that? My sense of feel and my sense of smell. <laughs> really? <laughs> How did you know when I got home I would want to eat something? I am so hungry. Mm. Yep. And you refuse to prepare soup to keep in the fridge. Life of a bachelor. Mm -mm. Don't even go there. Because bachelors that I know, when you open your fridge, you see different kind of delicacy, different kind of soup. Shifting of responsibility. That's why I have you now. No. Nelson, have you forgotten we are not married yet? We will still get married, won't we? You haven't Are even that? engaged me, not to talk of marriage. Nelson! It's just a matter of time. Time? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I need to do one, two, one, two. Mm. <laughs> marriage. Well, it's all right because I am not in a hurry. So, why don't you go in, freshen up, mm -hmm. and come out and have some food? I'm going to put a few things in order and then we're going to get married, okay? Mm. 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 
what? This is the most delicious meal I've had in recent years. I'm telling you. Thank you. <laughs> you are such a great cook. Hmm. Ironically, you're from a wealthy home. It doesn't really work like that. But you're a phenomenal cook. Love it. Mm. What? Well, thank you so much. Hmm. You see, my mom always tells me that the way to a man's heart is through his stomach. Thank you. And no matter how delicious a food can be, a man will always cherish his wife's food than any other food. Mommy is such a wise woman. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yes, she is. <laughs> well, I'm glad you're enjoying the food. Telling you. Mm. Oh, I enjoy. <laughs> ah. Hmm. Hey, baby. That was a great meal. <laughs> I'm going to keep saying it over and over and over again. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm glad you enjoyed it. Yep. Uh, tell me about your dad. My dad? Mm -hmm. Okay. My dad is a nice man. But you know, people misunderstand him a lot because he's a disciplinarian and a no-nonsense man. And he's also super protective of me. Has he got trust issues? Uh, no, not at all. But why do you ask? I'm gonna meet him someday, right? <laughs> <laughs> Just trying to get to know him, you know? Honey. You need to relax, okay? Hmm. My parents are nice people. Hmm? I believe you. <laughs> babe, babe. I'm, I'm finding it so difficult to breathe. I, I, I can't breathe. And even my legs, I can't feel my legs. Can you come? Come to, my, come to the house immediately, please. I can't breathe. I can't feel my legs. months ago but now I have decided to spend the rest of my life with her Amanda yes 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 I'll marry you just needed you to get here as soon as possible. Yeah, you got me. But this is so beautiful. It is, right? Yeah, I like it myself when I first saw it. But it's not as beautiful as you are. I love you. I love you too. So much.
like that. Is the excitement about? I'm getting married. That's nice. <laughs> This is beautiful. Congratulations, my love. Thank you, mom. Thank you. Congratulations, my dear. Thank you, daddy. You see, it's the dream of every parent that their daughter finds a man and settles down in marriage. Mm -hmm. But the thing is that uh, we've not seen this guy you're talking about. Too. <laughs> well, not to worry, daddy. Uh -huh. You will meet him one day. Mm, you see, you, you don't seem to get it. I mean, you are the daughter of Chief Emenike, my only child, for mm. crying out loud. Mm? I don't want you to end up in the hands of the wrong man, you know. So I am not just going to meet the man. I am going to examine him personally ah. to make sure that, <laughs> yeah, you know now. <laughs> so you are going to invite him to come and spend the weekend with us. Yeah, he's coming to spend the weekend with us, Abby. Okay. Uh -huh. I will tell him and I believe he will come. Uh -huh. Sure. Yes, mom, he will. He'll come. <laughs> <laughs> now you're talking. Congratulations, and Thank you, Daddy. Yeah, that's it. Please, uh, mm. Let me go and get the juice. Hey, go, 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 go. <laughs> mom! <laughs> okay. Congratulations. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> mm -hmm. So I'm thinking, right? Mm -hmm. How many kids would you want to have? Three. A boy and two girls. No, you're not serious. Of course I am. What? Nah. I was thinking more of uh, mm -hmm. five strong boys, three girls, eight children. What? Yes. Eight. Uh-huh. Eight kids. Uh, before. <laughs> I don't think you're serious. <laughs> <laughs> no, you're not serious. <laughs> well, that's for you. As for me, three and I'm done. Whatever you say, Your Majesty. <laughs> okay, so. Yeah, babe. My dad wants you to come spend next weekend with us. I mean, he wants to get to know you better. To know if you're good enough for me. Your dad. Mm -hmm. Is anything the matter? No, it's okay. I'm fine. Are you sure? Yeah, I think it's okay. Okay, so my dad wants you to come spend next weekend with us. He wants to examine you to know if you're the right man for me. <laughs> you know, I told you my dad is super protective of me. Maybe because I am the only child. <laughs> well, but I think they would like you. I mean, who wouldn't like you? You are humble, caring, nice, intelligent, handsome, and sweet. I'm sure they would like you. Mm -hmm. Babe? Babe? Baby? Yeah. Wait, don't tell me I have been talking to myself all this time. No. Oh, uh, I was listening. I'm with you. No, I you were not listening. Okay, so what was the last thing I said? Okay, I confess. I... I was in my own thoughts. Okay. In your own thoughts? What are you thinking about? Hey, babe, you've been acting strange ever since I mentioned my dad. What is the problem? He's, uh... oh, my mom. Hi, mom. Okay, I, I'll be on my way. See you soon. My mom wants me to come home. She said it's urgent. That's okay. So, what were you saying about my dad? I was just 
saying your dad gets me nervous you know meeting a man of such pedigree gives me the chills you know what i mean come on baby i've already told you you need to relax yeah, i can't help it my dad is a human being i mean he doesn't bite and I already told you he's going to like you. So you have nothing to worry about. Okay? I know so. I know so. Okay. I'll be on my way now. <laughs> to see you. Well, hold on a second. Let me just catch my breath, okay? Babe, not again. Look, I've already told you my parents do not bite, okay? I know, but I, I, I just feel a little edgy, so let me calm down a little bit. You need to relax. My parents are nice people. Just get to know them, right? What if your parents don't like me, especially your dad? Why won't he like you? No, it's just I just feel nervous. If you are a good person, I'm sure he's going to like you. Because you are very likable. Okay. So let's go. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. There's something I need to tell you. Shh. It can wait. Okay? Look, we'll talk about it later. Right now, I want you to go in and meet my parents. I mean, though, we want you was keeping us this long. Let's go, go. Let's go. <laughs> Mom, Dad, this is Nelson, my fiance. Nelson. Mm -hmm. Him? Yes, Hello. Daddy. Hello, sir. Uh, Dad, do you know him? Of course. That's my accountant. What? Your what? Uh, Didn't he tell you? No. For how long have you known him? Ten months now. Hmm. Which means he used you as leverage to get into my company. He's been working for me for the past eight months. Please, sir, um, respectfully, I didn't use your daughter to get into your company. My credentials are there to prove that I qualify for the job, and that is why I got the job. Please, respectfully, sir. Whatever. All I know is you're a digger, a gold digger, mm -hmm. a liar. Now get out of my house, and I don't want to see you anywhere near my daughter again. So you've been deceiving me all this while. Well. I'll never deceive you. Yes, you I did. You. So why didn't you tell me that you're working for my father? Because of this very situation. I've been thinking this is how it's going to play out. I've been so afraid. Because I didn't want anybody to think that I wanted to get into your dad's company because of his wealth and I was trying to get to you. This has been my biggest fear since. And unfortunately, it played out just what I feared. Anta, please, I love you very much. You mean the world to me. But you lied. You lied I, to me. I didn't lie. I just didn't tell you. And I've been trying to tell you since. Please. Amanda, please. Listen. I'm in love with you. I'm sorry.
Nelson! 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 And where do you think you're going to? Going home. Your father will never accept me. I thought you said you loved me. I do. So am I not what fighting for? If you truly love me, you will go inside and prove to them that you're real. That boy is a gold digger. Say criminal! See, he wants to use our daughter to get to us, to, to our wealth. I should have gotten him arrested by the police. Honey, it hasn't gotten to that. Eh? Okay, has he stolen the company's money before? <clears throat> Not really. So why are you calling him a criminal? Isn't it obvious? He used our daughter to gain access to my company. Honey, trust me. That guy is taking his time. He has an agenda. And he's playing it cool. First, he wants to get married to our daughter. Then he will, he will now transfer everything to him and make him our successor. Ah, that guy is good though. See how he's parading himself as if he's the owner of the company. He eats in the company. He even pays the staff without my consent. That boy is good. He operates as if he's, he's the owner of the company. But he has shot himself in the foot. I'm going to fire him. It hasn't gotten to that. After all, the staffs need to be paid. Or did he overpay anyone? Honey, you will not understand. After all, I'm just trying to protect our daughter. Our daughter? Yes. Okay. Has he gone? Yes, Dad. He's oh. gone. Oh. God saved him. I would have gotten him arrested. Stupid boy. Giving him petus to come to my house to ask my daughter's hand in marriage. Eh? Is this what this is all about? No, no, no. That boy is a good digger. He's a good digger. Baby, I'm sorry for the way things turned out, okay? It's okay, Mom. I'm fine. Sure, you're fine. Yes, I'm fine. I just came to inform you people that Mary has served lunch. Okay. So, people should come down and eat because I'm really famished. Okay, we're coming. We're coming. We're coming, eh? I don't get it. What? Is she okay? Are you sure she's okay? She's fine. What? Why is she not bothered? About what? You just broke up her engagement with her fiance. And she said she's okay. Come on, honey. My daughter understands that uh, all that I'm doing is to protect her. My daughter is strong. She takes after her father. I mean, she's strong will, not uh, a weakling like you that uh, <laughs> attaches emotion to everything. Uh -uh. Stop it. Biko, please. Come on, I'm just joking. You know, I'm just joking. Come on, let's go and eat. Let's go and eat. Just joking. <laughs> Thank you, Mary. Don't worry. Just leave that. I'll take handily from here. Thank you. All right. Thank you. Consent. <laughs> 
What is he still doing here? Oh, Dad, please calm down. Eh, hey, hey, don't ask me to calm down. Did I ask you to leave my house? No. Leave my house, this sister. No. Oh, okay. Dad, if you dare call the police, I will run away with him and you will never see me again. Amanda, has he gotten to this? Oh yes, Dad, it has. Dad, I really love him. Is it a crime for your employee to marry me? Can't you see that he's using you to get to my wealth? How? He's fake, he doesn't love you. How sure are you when you don't even know him? I know him because he's my employee. Okay, fine. You call him a criminal. Can you tell me one thing that he has stolen from you? Just one thing. I'm sorry. He hasn't stolen anything yet. Has he done anything to jeopardize your company? No, of course. He can't do anything to jeopardize my company. Has he not been hardworking enough? Honey, I'm sorry. He has been hard working. Yeah. Then what exactly is the problem, Dad? He doesn't love you. He's not, he's not right for you. How do you know that? Uh, because... Uh, My he... son, you're welcome. Please sit down. Hmm? Thank you. Thank honey, you, Ma. Honey, sit down. We have to eat. So tell me, where are you from? I'm from Enugu State. Oh, nice. What about your parents? My dad is late and my mom is also from Enugu State. That's where she is. Sorry about your loss. Thank you. So, I hope you communicate with your mom? Yes, I speak with her all the time. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Good. How did you meet my daughter? Ah... Uh, it's quite an interesting one. She's a fan of Marvel's movies, and so am I. We met at the cinema. And while I was watching the movie, we, we got talking. And then one thing led to another. And we were communicating a lot. Interestingly, I realized that she has certain attributes that I like in the, in the female. Which is? Mom, I need to know. I want to know. Well, um, she's God-fearing. She's smart, intelligent, mm -hmm. extremely beautiful, and very sexy as well. Aww! What is it? Ah, here! This little boy is telling you that our daughter is sexy, and you are saying, ah! What nonsense is this? Honey, honey, wait, wait, wait! Please, please, don't take it personal, okay? Let me talk to you. Didn't you see how that Ninkom poop called our daughter sexy? What an audacity! I, I, I've already told you that that boy is a street boy and he's not good enough for our daughter. Honey, that boy did not say anything wrong. He was just complimenting our daughter. Honey, please stop making a mountain out of molehill. Honey, why won't you understand? Make me understand. That boy has an agenda, has an ulterior motive. Honey, tell me, what wrong has he done to you since you have known him? He eats in the office. Is that all? I remember you telling me that your new accountant is so hardworking. And I know you, my husband. You do not commend people. You find it difficult to commend people's efforts. Honey, 
Why don't you get to know him? Stop being paranoid. Why is it that nobody understands me? You are the one who has refused to understand anyone. That boy is a gold digger. Honey, please stop this. Stop it. Baby, what is it? I'm worried about your dad. I mean, what, what is all this? You know, I, it doesn't look like he's going to accept me as his in-law. No, don't, don't say that. He will accept you. All you have to do is to prove to him that you're for real. What do you mean I'm for real? What does it take to be for real? Of course I'm for real. Look, I have worked with your dad. He's my boss. And I, from all indications, it points to the fact that he doesn't see me worthy to be your husband. That's it. No, that is where you're wrong. Yes, I know my dad may be your boss, but he's my father. And he loves me so much. And he can practically do anything for me. He just don't want me to fall into the wrong hands. That's why he's being very overprotective. Just prove to him that you're for real. And he will give us his blessings. Yeah, of course I'm for real. Please. Just try. Okay, I'll work on it. Bye. So that's what I saw. Exactly, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> What happened? Why are you crying? <laughs> what is it? It's Nelson. Nelson, what happened to Nelson? <laughs> Nelson abandoned me. I ran away with all the documents. I said it. I said that this boy was fake. But you people will not listen to me. You mean Nelson <laughs> abandoned you in this condition and left with the documents? Yes, mom. Hey! Yes, mom. So, so, so. Oh. All, all, all my wealth, all, 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 all my estate, all gone. Ah, my hard labor. See, that boy, I told you people that he's not real. He's fake, but you will not listen to me. Now, see the result. See the result. I am going to hunt him down. I'm going to hunt him down. I'm going to destroy him. Wherever he's hiding, I will find him and eat him. I will kill him. I will hunt him down. Kill him. I'm going to destroy him. Honey. Oh. Uh, uh, what do you want to destroy? Oh, that boy. That boy, that boy. Mess him, of course. Oh, I detest that boy. I hate him. Could you imagine? He, he impregnated our daughter and took all our documents and ran away. Huh. That is just a dream now. It's a dream. No, honey. It's not a, just a dream. It's a warning. It's a warning. Mm. By the way, what is that boy? He should be in our daughter's room. What? Eh? No, 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 no. no. This, it, it cannot come to pass. Oh. It has come over here. Who's that? Commander, open this door. Dad? Yes. Oh, open this door. Dead. I am so dead. Wait, just calm down, okay? Just open this door before I break it. Dad, I'm coming.
against that. What's he doing? Dad, he's my fiance. Your fiance, not yet your husband. Young man, come and pack your things. No, Dad, he's not going anywhere. Get to the guest room. Dad, this is not fair. Why are you doing this? This place is not a hotel. Does it look like one? Come on, go and get your bags. What is going on here? What is the noise about? Huh? Dad, I don't like this thing you're doing. No, I don't like it. Mom, Dad asked Nelson to go to the guest room. Follow me. It's okay. It's okay. Why is that doing this to me? Mom, I'm not going to take it. I'm not going to take it. He keeps treating me like a child. I'll talk to your father, okay? Talk to him. Talk to him. Let's go to bed. Hmm? Good night. So, this is where you're going to stay. You sleep here. You pack your things here. Okay, sir. I, I, I'll actually like it. Thank you. I know you will like it. See, I know your plans. And I'll be watching you. Good morning, morning, Mary. How are you? I'm fine, sir. Thank you. You've been working so hard. I think you need a break. Sir. I am giving you two days off. Sir. Yes. And your two days starts now. Thank you very much, sir. Let me quickly finish up. <laughs> Mary, you worry yourself about so many things. Leave the dishes. Leave breakfast, just go home and enjoy yourself. So you mean I should go now? Now, yes. Okay, sir. Just wash your hand and leave. Thank you very much, sir. Okay. Thank you very much. Yeah. Bye-bye. Bye. Have a nice one. Thank you, sir. Breakfast is not served yet. Honey, Mary has not yet set the table for breakfast. Where is this girl? Mary! 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 <laughs> Honey, did you see Mary? Oh, you mean Mary? She's long gone. Gone to where? Well, I gave her two days off. Why will you do a thing like that? Come on, honey. That lady deserves rest. Yeah? Before she breaks down, she's a human being and not a machine. I know, but we pay her well for her services. If it is me now, you say that uh, I'm not being uh, appreciative. Yeah, I, I know, but the, the timing is wrong. Yeah? You remember we have a guest in the house. Oh, please. At least she would have cleaned up the whole place before leaving. The kitchen is a mess. Oh. Uh, good morning, Mom. Good morning, Dad. Good morning, oh, good darling. Good morning. How are you? Mom, what is it? Can you imagine? Your dad gave Mary off for two days. What? Dad, why would you do that? The lady needs a break before she breaks down. But Dad, this is wrong timing. Exactly what I told him.
morning. Why would? Good morning. Good morning, sir. Honey, he's greeting you. Oh. Good morning. Good morning, mom. Good morning, my dear. How are you? I'm fine, thank you. I'm under Hi. Uh, Nelson, we have a situation in the house. Our house help traveled, so I want you to take care of the kitchen until she comes back. Dad, I mean, what's that supposed to mean? See, my dear, I want to know if he can take good care of you. Like you said. You see, <clears throat> let's have a situation where you are sick. I want to see if he can cook and do the chores. No, something. no, Dad. You're being too hard on him. Remember, I did tell you that I will examine the man that is going to marry you. Dad, this is preposterous, so. Ah, ah, it is. Young lady, watch your mouth. I'm still your father. Mom, are you not going to talk to Dad? What do you want me to say? Just come. Look, Dad. This is my fiance, and you cannot turn him to your house help. I'll make breakfast myself. So, young man, if you must marry my daughter, you should go to that kitchen and prepare the breakfast. Better stay. Mm. Leave my house. Scott. Well, sir, I, I'm comfortable. I can prepare breakfast. Uh, I've been helping my mom back in the day, so it's okay. I can do it. Good. Hey, 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 hey. Where do you think you're going? You are not permitted in that kitchen until he has finished making breakfast. This is not fair. This is not fair. to me for real. <sighs> Hello. Tony, what's up? Hello, bro. How are you doing? I'm all right. How's it going over there? It's tough. Uh, what happened? Look, you won't believe me. As it stands right now, I'm in the kitchen trying to sort out some dishes. Wait, what? Why? Amanda's father says he wants to, wants me to prove that I can take care of his daughter. <laughs> I mean, what has cooking and doing dishes got to do with it? Exactly my point. What has that got to do with it? You know, that's not even the issue right now. I just need to figure out how I'm going to sort out these dishes. Man, bro, I mean, if this is the price you have to pay to show that you really love each other, then I guess you should do it. Uh, kind of. But that's not even what I'm thinking. I, I know her father intentionally came to put these dishes here, make a mess, so he can discourage me, and then he will say, I'm not worthy of his daughter. It's all right, bro. Just take care. Yeah, you're right. All right. I'll pour it later now. This is ridiculous. This is ridiculous, I'm telling you. Daddy, breakfast is ready. So what took you so long to prepare just breakfast? I, I was cleaning the kitchen because it was dirty after I finished making breakfast. Oh, shut up. You're simply lazy. Honey, the young man has prepared breakfast. That's what matters. Thank you so much. Welcome, ma. Oh, 
right on time. <laughs> so where's the breakfast? Honey, is it not breakfast you asked for? This is breakfast. Did you spend all the whole time preparing bread and tea? Dad. I was expecting something like a, a, a moi moi or 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 or. Honey, sit down. Let's eat this breakfast like one happy family. Like just Let's stop doing family. this. It's not part of my family and will never be. Stop this, honey. What is all this? Oh, look, you had better talk to dad. Talk to him. I will. I will. Honey, so, please, dear, don't be angry, okay? Honey, I'm please. so sorry. Sit down. Let's take the breakfast. Well Don't look at him. I have, I have omelette in the kitchen. Uh, I didn't want it to get cold, that's why I didn't bring it up. So let me get it. Okay, thank you so okay. much. Baby, I am really sorry for the way my dad is treating you. I'm so sorry. It's okay. I mean, if I have to go through this, to prove my love to you and prove myself to him. I am willing to go through anything and everything. I will do anything to be with you. You're so sweet. Thank you very much. Thank you for being this patient with me. I love you more. Very much. I'll do anything to be with you. Hey, you! What are you doing there? Um... Uh, she's showing me around. Uh, yeah. What's about your time? Five past twelve, sir. And you don't know you're supposed to prepare lunch? I'm, I'm... Right away, sir. It just escaped me. I didn't realize the time. I'm so sorry, sir. I want you to prepare vegetable food. Yes, sir. Dad, really? Why are you doing this? Dad, you know this is not right. Please. You must not help him. Dad, you know. Ah. Mom, mom, this is just the height of it. I mean, I can't take this anymore. Calm down. What <laughs> is it? Is it not dad? What has he done this time? He asked him to prepare vegetable soup. Mom, this humiliation is just too much. It's too much. <sighs> I think I know what to do. I know what to do. Emeke, why are you doing this? What is wrong with this? Eh? Honey, honey, you are taking this thing too far. No. Protective. Can't you see that these children are in love? Oh, please. That dude is acting the part. And he knows it because he knows what is at stake. And he gives these children a break. Never. I can't just allow any random guy come here and marry my daughter and then leave her in the middle of nowhere. What do you have against this boy? I know that he's acting, he's playing a game. How do you know? My instincts. My stinks never fail me, and I'm going to prove it to you, you, very soon. Honey, <laughs> this man is too stubborn. What kind of thing is this? Hmm. <laughs> Delicious. Thank you. Wow, no sin. You're a great cook. Mm -hmm. Honey, taste it, you'll like it. It's very delicious. Thank so, you. Nelson. Yes, ma'am. Who taught you how to cook like this? My mother. Yes, I used to help her back in the day. Wow, good. <laughs> You're actually 100% husband material. <laughs> I'm sure you make a great husband to my daughter. Thank you, Ma. Mm. 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 Mm.
and they have good things. Yo, man. Yes, sir. It's high time you gave up this game because it's not working on me. Please, sir, I am not playing any games. <laughs> you may think everybody is gullible. You may have deceived every other person, but you can't deceive me. Sir, I am not scheming or anything of the sort. <laughs> man, you are good. A very good actor. But it's quite unfortunate that he's not working on me. Ah, honey? You are here? Yeah, I was just leaving. I, I hope he is not disturbing you. No, ma'am. Okay, um, can I have a word with you? Yeah, sure. Like a nice guy. I hope your intentions are genuine. Yes, absolutely. As you have seen, we do not have many children. My daughter is all that we have. And that is why her father is super protective over her. I tell you again, if you are here to play games, it will not end well for you. Ma, I can swear to you. I am not here to play games. I genuinely love your daughter. I believe you. I will be the best husband ever. There you are. I've been looking for you. Oh, oh it's, I hope I didn't interrupt anything. No, you are not. <laughs> Wait. I hope you both were not gossiping about me. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> Look who's <he's> talking. <laughs> Uh, Anyways, I was bored, so I came in search of you. He's all yours. You can have him. Thank you, Mom. Let's go. Thank you. Love is a beautiful thing. I don't want to go. I want to think about your father. I want to go. <laughs> <laughs> mm -hmm. You go from there! Oh. Oh. No. How dare you? Young man. You no longer have respect, right? You are sitting on my own chair, romancing my daughter in my own house! Please, sir, I wasn't doing that. Oh, so now I'm lying. No, 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 sir. Dad, what is this? You are not what is up? Oh, now you even have the guts to challenge me because of this refrain, because of this gold digger. Okay. Young man, I don't want to see you anywhere close to my daughter as long as you're in this house. Yes, sir. You get me? Yes, sir. Yes, you sir. get me? Yes, sir. Dad. And what are you still doing there? Yes. Dad, I don't like this thing you're doing, no. I don't like it. Ah, you're you just frustrating me. You don't know what I'm doing for you. I'm trying to save you from the hand of this scavenger. Sometimes I even wonder whether you are still my daughter.
that is not the answer to the question. I say, where are you going? Um, I was thirsty and I wanted to get water from the kitchen. Mm -hmm. That's not the way to the kitchen. It's the way to the kitchen. Mm -hmm. Oh, mm -hmm. you are going to see that boy, right? No, no, Dad. No, not at all. Babe, we can't be together tonight. What happened? My dad happened. What do you mean your dad happened? Oh, what is that? You won't believe that he slept in the living room just because of me. So he saw me when I was what? trying to get to your room. Your dad is something else. What? I know. Fine, I guess I'll see you tomorrow morning. Oh man, the thing I was I was so expecting you. Damn. It's okay. Alright. Sweet dreams. I love you. I love you too. Bye. Yes, mommy, I did. Mm -hmm. Thank you, mom. Thank you, mom, for relieving Nelson of all these chores. Oh, come on, it's nothing. I should have stopped this madness a long time ago. Hmm? It's nothing, okay? I love you, mom. I love you, mom. You know <laughs> that. Well, Let I me explain. help you. Now, where's that boy? Let me nicky. Let me nicky. enough of that nonsense. Stop this, your madness. So, eh? That boy is going to be our in-law. So he deserves our respect. Our respect. That gold digger will never be my in-law. Never. Daddy, will you stop calling him that? So that's what he is. That's what he is. And I'll prove it to you people very soon. <laughs> Mama, you see what dad is doing? Are you saying that? Don't mind him. Very soon he will get tired and he will have no option than to accept him. Amanda! Amanda! Mommy, I'm coming! Oh, please come, oh, let's go. There you are. Come on, come on, let's I'm so go. sorry. <laughs> so, so, right. Thank you. Let's go. Amanda, where are you going with mom? Oh, okay. meet me at the car. Okay, mom. We're going to the supermarket to get some groceries. Okay. But I'll be back soon. That's fine. And don't miss me too much. No, I won't. <laughs> <laughs> I'll be back. Okay. This mother is such a nice lady, I swear. I'm glad she's taking after her, eh? What? <sighs> oh, man. Uh. 
Yeah, Nelson, come on, see me in the living room. Yes, sir. This man, oh Lord. Okay, you know what, Nelson? Breathe, breathe. He's not an animal, he's not a monster. He's a human being, just like me. But why am I so scared? Why? I don't even know what's happening. Oh God, oh. Um, okay, breathe. I got this. Good day, sir. Please sit down. Thank you. Nelson, you are a very smart and intelligent young man. Thank you very much, sir. Stop interrupting me. My wife and my daughter have already fallen for you, for your antiques, because of your... Uh, good behavior, you know, your good will. Uh, I must say, a, a kudos to you. Hmm? You're a very good actor. Very good one. But your acting will not have any effect on me. See, I worked very hard to build my empire. And I will not allow you just to come in and destroy it. Uh, you... You're very smart, you know, you are my accountant and you know my worth. But I will not allow you to come in and destroy my, my, my all that I have worked for. You're a very smart guy, very smart. Like I said before, as a generous man that I am, I am offering you 50 million, 50 million naira for you to walk out of the life of my daughter and don't come back. So, sign here. Please, sir. Uh, um... I'm actually not interested in money. I'm genuinely in love with your daughter. It, it has nothing to do with your worth or your wealth. Sir, I, I even met your daughter before I started working at your company. And I didn't get into the company because of her or you either. Sir, no amount of money can let me stay away from your daughter, please. Respectfully. Respectfully, sir. You don't get it, do you? You are not wanted here in my family. I, I want my daughter to marry a man with pedigree. A, a, a man of weight. Not just a common accountant like you. You understand what I'm talking about? So if I wear you, I will just sign the dotted lines. Take the money and walk away.
You are going to regret this. I'm gonna make you regret this. Stupid boy. What's the meaning of this? Nancy, Nancy. I work so hard to build my empire, and I will not allow you to come in and destroy it. I don't want to see you anywhere close to my daughter, my family, or my properties. If I ever see you anywhere close to my daughter, Believe me, by God, I will so hurt you. I will so hurt you that you wish you were dead. Do you understand me? Do you understand me? I understand. I understand, sir. I understand. Good. Now collect his phone. Both of them. Good. Now, take your things and walk out. Never come back. Bring the bags inside. Okay, ma.
find him. What do you mean you can't find him? He's not in his room. Uh, maybe he stepped out. Well, he stepped out. if you're looking for your little boyfriend, he's long gone. Come, go away. What do you mean long gone? I told you he was a gold digger, but you would not believe me. See, I offered him 50 million naira, and he couldn't resist it. That's a lie. See the way he grabbed it. They didn't think twice. No, Dad. Baby, please. This can't be true. I mean, oh, oh, are you not saying that I am lying? I, your father, because of that, that gold digger? No. Baby, just calm down. Call him first. Call him. Call him. No, what Daddy is saying. Switched off. He's switched not off. going to answer you people. He switched off his phone so that he will not talk to you. No. No. But, but mom, this, this, this can't be happening. Mom, this... I warned you about him, didn't I? Okay, come, come, come. Oh, what is that saying? I... Mom, Mom, where is Nelson? Come, take it easy. Dad, where is Nelson? Calm down. Calm down. Calm down. I mean, Nelson said he loved Don't me. Don't worry, he deceived us all. Uh, 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 not all of us. He deceived you people because you are gullible. Yes. He was playing his antiques playing his antiques and waiting for the time. Please but tell me I'm dreaming. Me. Tell me I'm Let dreaming. Me just calm down. Just calm down. Why would Nelson do this to me? See the way he grabbed the offer. <laughs> Emelike, what is it? What is it, Emelike? What are you talking about? I just saved our daughter from that scum. Clap for yourself, bravo! Can't you see how heartbroken our daughter is? Ah, she will get over it. But it's better that way than for that scum. To marry her daughter and then ab abandon her in the dark. Emily, get this is not over. This is not over yet. <laughs> Baby. Baby, open the door, please. Open the door for me. I'm worried about you. Go away. I don't want to see anyone. Baby, open. Let me come in. Let's talk. I said go away! Go! <laughs> Ah, okay, okay, Senator, yes. Ah, that would be great. We can't wait to meet with him. Yes. Okay, yeah. Good night. Yeah, good night. Yeah. Ah, honey, that was Senator Andrew. He said that uh, his son will be coming back from the UK next week. Okay. Guess what? What? Is coming to ask our daughter's hand in marriage. Our daughter just suffered a heartbreak. I hear you are planning to hand her over to another man. That is not heartbreak, my dear. God just rescued her from that scum. Honey, she was heartbroken because she loved him. She will get over it. Especially when a real man like the son of Andrew is in the picture. You don't get it. It doesn't matter who is in the picture. Listen, a woman's heart is fragile. And when it is broken, it takes time to heal. Please, stop every matchmaking you are making for my daughter. Please. Woman, why is it that you're always sabotaging all my plans? I'm not sabotaging any of your plans, so I am telling you the plain truth. My daughter has been through a lot lately. I don't want any more dramas around her, please. 
I have said my own. If you want to marry somebody for anybody, go and look for a wife outside or go marry to them. Biko, I've said my own. Lucy, I am the man of the house. I'm going to tell you how to run my house. What are you doing to yourself, bro? <coughs> Tony, you will never understand. <gasps> God. Understand what exactly? <laughs> Amanda was my everything, man. She was my life, my world. And I don't understand why to date, since that incident, she's never come to see me, call me, visit me, nothing. Bro, bro, that's because she has moved on. She's probably succumbed to the pressure from her father. And I suggest you move on too. <coughs> yeah. What is left of me, right? Yeah. Bro, just... Move on. I mean, it's okay for you to grieve. Grieve your loss, that's okay. But you need to get up, freshen up, and go job hunting. I'm pretty sure you don't need me to remind you there's a lot of pretty women out there. Bro, man, get up and go freshen up, man. You stink. Jeez, man. Give me my name, man. Give go freshen up. Give me my hey, go freshen up, bro. Give, give me the call. Man, go freshen up. You, you really stink. Get up. Sandra, 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 your friend has not come out of her room for two days now. She has not eaten anything. I'm not even sure she has had a bath. It's okay, ma. I'll go and talk with her right now. Okay. Everything will be fine, okay? Let me go talk with her. Thank you. Open the door, it's me. It's me, Sandra. Babe, please. It's me, please open the door. Amanda, please. You also didn't okay. speak. He deceived me. Yeah. He lied to me. I, know. I loved Nelson. I, know. I loved him with my whole heart. I, know. I gave him everything. I was there for him. I was there when he needed me. So why would he hurt me this way? Amanda, why? Amanda, Amanda, why would he hurt me this it's way? It's okay. Stop crying. Amanda, it's okay. Listen, a failed relationship is still better than a failed marriage. Right? It's okay. Your tears are so expensive for him. Nelson doesn't want your tears. It's okay. It's okay. Better. It's okay. Stop crying. It's okay. Stop crying. Nelson deceived me. Nelson doesn't want your tears. He lied to me. A fake guy like Nelson doesn't want your tears. Stop <laughs> crying, baby girl. Stop crying. Stop crying. It's okay. It's not okay. Amanda, it's okay. It's Give 
kill yourself. Mm. You okay now? She's yes, mm. mom. Fine now. You sure? Mm. Hey, come and sit down. Let me prepare something for Krishna. Mm. You just wanted to give me high blood pressure. And then, don't do this another time, oh. Sandra, thank you. Oh. You're welcome, man. Thank you so much. Emenike, how could you? How could you be this mean and wicked? Oh, so this young man never accepted your money and you went ahead to claim that he did. Knowing that your daughter nearly hurt herself because of this, you said nothing till now. When did you become this heartless? What did you just say? Dad? Dad, how could you? How could you, Dad? How? See, I was doing just for you to have a good life. I don't trust that man. Oh, he please! Can... This is not about trust and you know it. That you did this for yourself. You've never cared about how I feel. You are selfish. It's always been about you, you, you. No wonder you wanted me to marry the senator's son so you can pursue your political ambition. I am so disappointed in you. So disappointed. You see your life. I'm so disappointed in you, Emenike. Forgotten so soon. I mean, again, have you forgotten when your parents tried to stop us from getting married just because I'm not from your town? Have you forgotten how you stood your ground and we fought for our love and we conquered? Why are you doing the same thing to your daughter? Why are you stopping your daughter's happiness? Why? You know that your daughter is madly in love with that young man. And you're standing against it. Yet you claim you love her. What kind of father are you? Eh? What kind of father are you? Where are you going? I'm leaving this house no. for good. No, 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 no. no please, baby. please. Do you, you don't have to. I'm sorry. Please, forgive me. I am no longer on your way. Please, you can go ahead and marry that young man. I'm giving you my blessing, please. Dad, are you serious about this? Damn. Serious. What about the senator's son? Well, well, he can go and get himself another wife because my daughter is already taken. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Mom. Are you really sure about this? Yep. 
I have never been so convinced in my life about relocating. You know, I just want to go far away and just start all over. You okay. Know? So, uh, where do we intend to stay when you get to Abuja? Abuja? My uncle lives there. Pet with him for a while. Um, try and get a job, get my own apartment. I'll be fine. Okay, let's go. Sure. Hi. Hi. Going somewhere? Yeah. As a matter of fact, I'm on my way, bag and baggage, to Abuja. Abuja? Why? 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 I'm going to start a new life. Begin all over, afresh. What about me? What, what about you? Say it again. What about you? Your father threatened me to stay away from you. And you, on the other hand, didn't even act like I existed. And you want to ask, what about you? Look, Nelson, please, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. My dad told us that he gave you a check of 50 million naira, which you accepted. And that you probably switched off your phone so that I won't be able to reach you again. You believed him without even hearing what I had to say, isn't it? Nelson, I'm sorry. He sounded convincing. Why shouldn't he sound convincing? Your father got dogs to beat me up, threatening my life, took away my phone so I couldn't reach you or anyone else. And then you say he sounds convincing? Oh, hell yeah! Of course, he won, didn't he? Look, babe. Please, you can go to Abuja. Please, please stay. I'm sorry. Please stay. Please. It's late. It's too late, I'm sorry. My father gave us a blessing. Come on, Nelson, let's go, man. You're going to miss you. Say that, say that again. When we realized that my father lied, we wanted to stay angry at him. Nelson, I was willing to denounce him as my father. But he apologized and decided to give us his consent. He even asked me to bring you over. Nelson, come on, let's go, man. You, you, you don't mean it. Yes. He said bring me over. To the house. <laughs> no, hold on. <laughs> your dad. <laughs> Come on. Your, your dad said would bring me over? Yes. <laughs> Girl, what about your bag? Bring my bag, please. You, you're Listen, not serious. <laughs> My son, you're welcome. Thank you, sir. I know that I treated you badly, but um, I want you to f find it somewhere in your heart to forgive me. Honestly, sir, I have no grudges against you. Um, what you did, I think it was natural instincts. You were just protecting your daughter. It's understandable. You are indeed a unique person. You know, 95% of men will accept my offer, but you rejected it. I am proud of you. I'm also proud that you are my son-in-law. And both of you come here. Kneel down. For my <laughs> blessings. It is well with you. Amen. Amen. You will both flourish like the trees planted by the riverside. Amen. Amen. You have plenty of children, both Amen. male and female. Amen. Amen. And by the grace of God, you will lack nothing. Amen. Amen. It is well with you. Amen. Amen. Rise up. Rise up. Rise up. <laughs> 